so this is the project that I've been working on and what I did was I took out this inverter board before it had the CCFL tubes in this LCD TV and they were all connected like so like in here and you can see all the holes that it was in and this inverter board takes up a lot of energy basically it takes 24 volts in here and it outputs has some uh, high voltage transformers this is an INV40N14B inverter, inverter board and it will make very high voltage like uh, probably over maybe 100, 100 volts or so so what I've done is has 24 volts there ground so I'm just going to be using the 24 volt and connecting it to LEDs so I'm putting them all in series so I have one two three four five six seven you should put eight it'd be 24 volts but I put um, seven so that's gonna be 21 so it's gonna be extra bright because you won't be able to change the brightness of it so I want it a little bit more bright I have all the positive side of the strips they're all connected in parallel and all these four top wires are all 24 volts and so it doesn't matter which one and I have a common ground I've connected that so I'm just gonna put the wire in, in the, the top one so that wire goes there so you can see right here I have the the positive all connected in parallel here and then over here we have the common ground and I've connected to the base of this TV so this is all common ground so they're all connected there so we'll plug it in you see it's quite bright that's changing up my first idea was to use this kind of paper and use these kind of strip LEDs but I uh, they don't disperse the light as nice and they can't get quite as bright so I just went on eBay for $20 I bought a package of uh, 3 volt these little little guys here and I had some uh, cardboard I cut out these strips and what I did is I just taped them on these strips to make these LED strips. So we're just going to test the current that is being drawn through those LEDs. Oh, there you go. You can see that it's drawing about 1.8 amps. Okay. And that's at 24 volts. So 24, that's uh, 48 watts. So now the, the TV will be using a 48 watts for the 